Welcome back everybody. Today's project will be turning these into lumber storage for that and hopefully that. Stick around, we have a lot more fun and surprises on the way. The plan is to follow Steve Ramsey's wood card plan. Um, his calls for three quarter inch plywood. And of course, I went the cheap route and went half inch OSB. I'm hoping I don't regret this. Yeah, so obviously cheaper, not as sturdy of material, but I'm hoping that all the pieces locked together will create that rigidity that I need. My plan is to use pocket holes. <gasps> I know, I'm sorry, but it's just a shop project, not too concerned. So I'm not going to make a full build video. Other people have done it. He, of course, has it on his channel. Again, I'll link down below. All right, let's get started. What we have here is the base. Be careful not to run my hand along there too far. Um, we have the base, and I have all the lumber dividers cut up. These will go um, divided along here. And what I've done is on one side, all the pocket holes go around the three sides. And I had to do a little finagling. I, <laughs> I have one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and that's for three quarter inch material. Uh, I have a big box of a thousand of them. So I'd rather not go out and get one inch pocket hole screws. So I had to do a slight adjustment to the jig in order to make sure that when the pocket hole goes through, the first piece of wood into the second, not only does it not go all the way through the second piece of wood, or poke out the other side rather, but I had to um, also be sure that it comes out as close to the middle of this as possible. Since it's not necessarily for this, the, the screws aren't necessarily for this thickness of material, the other workaround I have to do is when I get to the edge, for instance, this piece, the pocket holes, normally you would want those to be on the inside of your piece to hide them. This is a shop project. I am not concerned about my pocket holes showing. 
Um, even still, I would usually keep them on the inside. But because the pocket holes are on this side, when they go in, they're angled this way. So they're pointing out side. When I screw into the pocket hole, they'll be going towards the outside of this plywood and they'll break through. So what I need to do is this piece will go on the other side and I have one piece that's the opposite way that doesn't have the pocket holes on this side, it has it on this side. So when I go down, I'll be going into more meat of the piece. Um, again, pocket holes will be showing on the outside. I don't care. I did a couple of tests to get the setup correct. I just used some of the scrap cutoffs and everything seems to be good. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start with the two outside pieces. Steve Ramsey's plans call for five of these pieces to be evenly divided, but um, just the way that you cut the plywood, I had one piece left over, which was pretty much the exact size of one of these pieces and figured might as well make one more. So I'll make a few bins equally spaced and then between, I don't know, maybe the halfway or two thirds part, I'll make, um, I'll put two dividers where there would normally be one. So there'll be like three small sections here. All right, enough talking. Boo. Well, there you go. It turned out actually better than I thought. It's not the easiest to push around. I think I need a little bit bigger casters. 
But to be honest, I won't be moving around that much. Would I recommend using half-inch OSB? If you're trying to do it on a budget, it isn't too bad. But half-inch plywood would at least be a little bit better. Three-quarter inch plywood, yeah, it's probably going to last uh, quite a while. Um, but I learned a lot, and it solved my store of problems. So thanks for watching.